Victor, is there a feeling of relief uh, in the end of the game? Well, of course, we, yeah, well, we're happy with the three points, of course. I mean, and especially playing at home, we want to we wanna win and we want to perform. So, of course, we're very, very happy for the three points, the two goals scored and the clean sheets. An unusual night for you, because originally you weren't starting. So how much notice did you have to prepare yourself? Uh, well, about, I would say, 50 minutes or, or so before the warm-up. But, uh, I mean, before every game, even if I'm playing or not, I'm always preparing in the same way. So I'm always ready for, for whatever. So, uh, yeah, today I got a... They told me I was going to start uh, later on, but I was, like I said, I'm, I'm always ready to, to play and uh, I'm happy to help the team. David, you could see at the end there seems to be a lot of, uh, a lot of relief around Old Trafford. How did you feel when the whistle went? Well, to be honest, I think we had the control of the game in the second half. first half was, wasn't the best. We had a couple of good chances, but then we react very well in the second half. We scored a goal, we, we get the red card for them. Uh, even like this, we, 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 we give a couple of chances at the end, so we should, we should kill the game before. But at the moment, the three points are the more important thing, so we are, we are happy with the three points. So many times this season, you, you've played a massive role in, in saving us, particularly that first half. A couple of terrific saves, particularly from the, the header from yeah. the Modder, I think it was. Yeah, it was a, to be honest, it was a very good one. Uh, Help us to, to give a clean sheet. I think that's very important for us to keep more clean sheets. So, yeah, I was very happy to make the save, uh, and then the team react very well in the second half, and we we get the three points. Yeah, what was the difference? I mean, there clearly was a difference in the second half. I think we start to press it more high in the second half. Uh, we make them to play less from the back, so we press high. It was difficult for them to to get out uh, because they like to, to have the ball. And then Cristiano scored a great goal, and from that they get the red card, and we, we control the game until the last 10 minutes that they had a couple of chances. But, but like I said, the performance was was so so. But the three points are massive. Ralph, when uh, when Bruno Fernandez hit the back of the net in the 96th minute, you knew it was over. How did it feel then? It felt better than uh, the <laughs> fifth of yeah the 35, 40 minutes before that. Uh, I mean, obviously we should have killed the game off again much earlier after. Um, the red card, we had, I don't know, five, six unbelievable chances to score. Um, but again, we didn't. Uh, and, uh, and as long as it's 1 0, and with the experience of the last three games, it's, it's, it's normal that then there is a little bit of insecurity in the team. And also, the fans didn't understand why did they, in the last five minutes, put all the, the players up into, into our own half. And uh, yeah. With Bruno's goal, it was clear with only one minute to go that the game was over. I suppose sometimes when you, you don't really have time to be nervous or concerned, you just have to play. I suppose sometimes it's uh, better like that, I guess. Yeah, well, usually I'm, I'm not I'm not a nervous guy. Uh, I always trust my abilities and I know what I, what I can do on the pitch. So, uh, But like I said, I prepare the same way, even if I'm playing or not. So uh, I was ready to, to play. Quite a tough first half. And uh, again, our keeper was in, <laughs> in top form. Yeah, no, like he's been uh, all season. I mean, he's, uh, he's been amazing and uh, did a fantastic save there for us. But like you said, it was a difficult, difficult first half. We didn't quite uh, uh, get the press right. And then in the second half, I think we performed better and uh, we, we defended a bit higher up as well. People, I mean, people always talk about Cristiano, but that was a, a sort of a classic Cristiano goal, wasn't it? To, to give us the lead. Yeah, uh, he's, he's been doing that for, for many years. Uh, another great goal for him. Uh, I'm very happy because uh, he was uh, he had a, a couple of games and he, he didn't score, so it's going to be good for us if he keeps scoring goals like today. And uh, yeah, but I think the more important thing was was the, the keep the clean sheet. Sorry, so we all are very happy. We just couldn't get that second goal. It was getting a bit tense. Yeah, yeah that's, the end, I was I was there saying, come on, we have to kill the game because in the Premier League you never know. Even with 10, 10 players, they can score. So. It was too late, the goal, but at least we, we scored the second goal. What was your message at, at half-time? Um, because obviously they had a very good first 45 minutes, but it changed after your uh, half-time talk. What, did, what was your message? Well, yes, it was obvious in the first half that we had only two or three, maybe four turnovers, uh, and we were struggling to get hold of the ball and to take the ball away from them. Um, and for us, it was, uh, there were, were two alternatives, either change formation to a not to an unusual, in our, in our view, unusual 3-5-2 for our team. We haven't played 
in that formation that often or mirror them in a, in a 4-4-2 with a diamond. But that again would have meant that one or two players would have played in not their best possible position. So we decided to stick to the 4-2-3-1 and just take more risk, attack their centre-backs with our wingers on the ball side. And it paid off because before we scored the first goal, it was a brilliant ball win by Scott McTominay. And this, uh, the red card was uh, a perfect interception by uh, Anthony Alanga. Uh, and from then on, it was a different game. We were in control of the game. And as I said, the only thing that I can fault the team for is that we, that we didn't score three or four goals. Yeah, what was the message at half time? Because there was a clear change in the in the second half. Yeah, no, like I said, just we needed to, to get up the pitch a little bit and uh, put pressure on them. Uh, they played through us too, e too easily, so that was the main uh, the main target for us in the second half to go out there and be more aggressive and uh, more in the front foot. And a classic uh, a classic Ronaldo goal really to to make it one nil. Yeah, no, and I mean that's uh, that's why he's here, you know, to score goals and uh, you know it's uh, it's great in those mo uh, great in those moments. So. Very pleased for him to score and then for Bruno as well to, to get a goal today. There were some chances to make it 2-0, but whilst it wasn't 2-0, you could still feel a bit of uh, tension around the place, could you? Yeah, no, of course. I mean, when it's 1-0, you know, everything can happen in football, even if they, they had one, uh, one man less. Uh, so we pushed for the second goal. We had many opportunities to score the second goal. Uh, it came late, but so yeah, that was a, that was a great feeling when, when Bruno scored the second one. Yeah, does that sort of tension transmit itself to the players on the pitch or...? Are you thinking we need a second? We need a second. No, but like I said, of course we know we know the game. We know the score. That's one nil. But we just try to stay focused and, and do do our job. So it's not like you're running around thinking, oh, we have to score, we have to score. But uh, we just try to, to manage the game and, uh, like I said, go for the second goal. And we managed to get it late. We hope, hopefully, we can the next game we can, uh, if it's the same uh, same type of game, we can score it earlier. Is it fair to say that was a world class finish from Cristiano. Yes, it was. It was an outstanding goal, a brilliant goal. Um, and an important one too. Were you getting edgy when the second goal <laughs> didn't come in the, in the second Yes, <laughs> I mean, of course. I mean, with, with uh, the memory of the last three games, again, that's normal. Uh, it's a little bit like uh, history repeats itself. And of course, you are a little bit nervous then in the last five minutes. Uh, I mean, that would have been the worst case scenario if they had scored with one player down. Into the top four then, and uh, some massive games coming up. How important do you think that could be, though, to get some momentum going. I mean, obviously, after the, the two draws against Burnley um, and at home against Southampton, it was absolutely important. Uh, I mean, uh, including the Aston Villa game, where we were 2 0 up, we, we gave away six points in those three games uh, after being 1 0 or 2 0 up, and therefore it was highly important against an informed Brighton team to get the three points today. Clean sheet as well. I mean, even though we're not really scoring that many, we're certainly not letting many in. At the moment, that yeah. seems to be a real positive. Yeah, well, you know, like I always say, if you keep a, if you keep a clean sheet, there's uh, always great opportunities for us to, to score goals and to win the game. So, for us as a team, if you keep a clean sheet, then we have uh, all the, the opportunities to, to win the game, and uh, that's what happened today. We kept a clean sheet. We defended uh, great as a team, I think, uh, uh, and uh, scored two goals. So, I'm very pleased. And how much of a boost is it going into some, some great games coming up, you know, Leeds away we know about, and obviously Athletic in the Champions League, some massive games coming up. How much of a boost is, is this result? No, of course. Every time you win, you win a football game, it gives you, it gives you energy and gives you a boost. So I'm very pleased for the guys today, and uh, it's a great feeling to, to get the three points. And uh, hopefully we can, uh, we can keep, on, keep on going and get some good results in the, in the next, next coming games. Yeah, your old teammate Danny Welbeck was nearly. Yeah, he, won, nearly he had a screen. massive chance, to be honest. So he missed the chance and then we score the goal from Bruno and we kill the game. Yeah, how important was that, you know, to, to get that second goal? It's been a while since we got the second yeah, one, now we've got it. Is this like the start? Like I say, we should, should score much earlier, we had a couple of good chances. And then you suffer when you don't score the goal, you don't kill the game, you suffer, like, because they are a good team, they, they know how to play. But this is football, we, we win, we win the game and we are, we are happy. And I guess it's a, a boost ahead of a great week you know leads away and obviously back to Atletico way too massive how much of a boost is that for everyone going into those huge games do you think? Yeah, hopefully this this game may give us more confidence more more good feelings uh, then we have a, another big game on, on Sunday against Leeds away very difficult game and I think we have to be focused on, on that game don't think more, more in the future just about Leeds you're into the top four now. We need to. You want to stay there, don't we? <laughs> of course, we want to stay there. We should be fighting for more things than, than the top four. But this is the realistic thing. We have to fight for the top four. But 
yeah, let's keep fighting, keep giving everything and, and let's be finishing top four. We'll play it again. Thank you very Thanks, much. Mate.